Over the decades, Boston's skyline has almost been unchanged, but those gaps could soon be filling in. Not only has it been broad in terms of product type, in other words, we're having retail, we have office, we have a residential, certainly institutional. So it's across all boards, but it's also very diverse geog geographically. From East Boston to Alston, to proposed projects in the Seaport District and Back Bay, the Boston Redevelopment Authority has been playing a balancing act between planning for the city's ultimate goal of increasing middle and low income housing while also considering the future plans that will follow the not yet complete Imagine Boston 2030 package. But the director of the BRA says holding development now could mean a hit on the economy. A majority of the new revenue created in Boston that supports its budget and supports the services that people need and expect is coming from brand new development that the Boston Redevelopment Authority is permitting. We don't want to shut that off. It's not in the interests of the people of Boston. Last year alone, the BRA approved 71 large-scale projects that will create over 5,000 construction jobs. Boston Preservation Alliance's director, Greg Gaylor, agrees with Golden, stating he's not against development, but is concerned that with how rapid the city is developing, there isn't a balance, and there hasn't been enough planning to maintain the character of the city and individual neighborhoods. You know, we're just concerned, and our membership is concerned, that we're going to go. We're going to go too far, um, and we know people are coming to Boston because of the historic character. Erica Mora, the Boston Herald.